Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving today, it won't be when I post this, but I'm vlogging today and I thought I would start the day off with a little bit of like a quick eyeshadow look. I recently have had a few people ask for this look. It is the look that I'm wearing in the video um, of my day one of my declutter series, so I'll make sure to post that above. Um, but it's a super simple look and it's just using this little Milani palette. It is in the shade 05 Earthy Elements. And so I thought I would just jump in and kind of show you how I got that look. Again, it's so easy. I'm just gonna be using this and then I am gonna use just like this um, cream colored eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. And so I'm gonna start by just putting this Wet n Wild shade all over my lids. I'm just gonna use like a big fluffy brush. And I did already prime my eyes and did my eyebrows and the rest of my makeup. Now moving into the Milani palette, I'm going to take like a fluffy crease brush and just go into this like tan shade here. This shade is like, well, both of these two shades, the like tan and the orange are super buttery, really creamy and quite pigmented. So I'm just taking that tan brush, just taking the tan color and I'm gonna work that into my crease. This is such a pretty color too, by the way. Like it's just like the perfect warm, but not a really warm brown color. Kind of reminds me of my sweater. It's like the same color. <laughs> Now that we've got some color and definition on the eyes, I'm gonna just use that same fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna go into the orange color and I'm gonna go kind of light-handed with this because it is pretty pigmented and I'm just going to work that in the outer corner of my crease. And then from here, once I've kind of laid down the color I want, which that's pretty much what I want. I don't want anything too drastic or dramatic. I'm just gonna further blend that out and like really blend it up. So now at this point of the look is really where you can kind of take it and make it whatever you want. So I'm not gonna go to like much more after this, but you could take like one of these darker bronzy colors and kind of work that into the outer crease as well and the outer V or like really add like some more smoky like above or below your lash line. I am going to add just a touch of that brown to that tan that we used in the crease to the bottom lash line. Just taking this little like short stubby smudgy brush going to put a little bit of that tan along the lower lash line. Now I'm just going to take this more of like a flat shader brush and go into, I think it was this color, this like large shade here. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner as well as the highlight on my brow bone. And I'm gonna also kind of bring it into like the inner third of the eyelid as well, since there's not really anything on my eyelid, just that orange color that's kind of in the outer part. The shade is pretty subtle, but it does have a little bit of a glitter to it, so you kind of have to be a little careful. And if you're not into glitter, you might not like it mind glitter here and there and that's pretty much it I think in that video I actually wore like an eyeliner as well like I think I had like a little bit of a wing liner but today is gonna be really chill I'm not really I mean we are celebrating Thanksgiving um, but we're just kind of hanging around the house for a while and preparing Thanksgiving food and having a few friends over so I'm gonna kind of just take it easy I don't really want to go too above and beyond my makeup today um, so I'm just gonna put some mascara on and then finish off with a lip 
color. For mascara today, I'm gonna to use the Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara, and it has lengthening fibers in it. I've been trying these two, the other one's like in a pink bottle, but it looks exactly the same. Um, mascaras from Essence recently. Um, I'm still kind of j gathering my thoughts and like how I feel about it, but I will have a video soon, kind of going over like the pros and cons of these mascaras that are new to Essence. But I'm just gonna use this as a mascara today. Nothing too crazy. Now for lips today, I do wanna go with something pretty simple and something that's gonna last for a while and not be like too fussy or I'm gonna have to like do things to it. So I'm gonna just use a lip liner. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner and it's in the shade Bear to Comment. This is in my project Use It Up by the end of the year that I am doing. Um, I'll link that above as well as your interest if you're interested in which I do have a video coming on Monday of like a recap or not a recap but like an update on how everything is going. So I'm just gonna kind of line slash fill in my lips a little bit with this. And then to finish off the look, I'm just gonna go in with a touch of lip gloss. This is from e.l.f. and I honestly don't even remember what this is, like, collection it's from, but it's in the shade Sheer Peach. And it's just like this very slightly metallic, like, peach lip gloss. And I think it would go really nice with this look. There we go. And I'm done. So pretty simple. I think it looks good. I haven't seen it in, like, a full mirror. I think we're good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go make some pumpkin pie, put that in the fridge so it's good for tonight, and then I think I'm gonna go on a walk with the dog, maybe go over to the coffee shop. We're closed today, which is great, but perks is that I can just go in and get some coffee if I want to, so I might do that. So I will see you in a bit. Beautiful day. I'm like, I don't even know why I'm wearing this jacket right now. It's so warm. It's. Okay, it's 39, but it feels so warm. Um, out with Sutter, taking a little walk, made pumpkin pie, got the apple crisp started, and Greg's busy with the turkey. We're smoking a turkey this year, and it looks fantastic. Sutter's a little excited to be outside. Um, and so I thought I'd take a little break, take a walk, get some coffee, maybe call my mom or something, and yeah, it's beautiful. So uh, this is great. Made a nice meal. It's pretty dang good. I know 39 degrees outside might seem very cold to some people, but for us here in Minnesota, 39, 39 is like a warm autumnal day. Like that's like warm. And so iced coffee is good. So it's weird being here when no one's here. No one's here. And so I'm gonna go home, finish cooking, and hopefully we'll be eating soon because I'm getting hungry. Well, Thanksgiving was a success. Our dinner turned out fantastic. We had smoked turkey and potatoes and Brussels sprouts. And then we had pumpkin pie and apple crisp for dessert. Got to hang out with some friends. It was a great night. I had been contemplating all day whether or not I wanted to go shopping tonight. There's like a few deals I was interested in here and there. Um, I don't think I want to. So this will probably just be my night. I might, I have, some more cleaning to do back here and then probably go to bed. So, and then back to work tomorrow. So eventful night-ish. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear what you did this Thanksgiving. Leave it in the comments down below. And uh, until next time, bye guys.